Good morning, everybody. Welcome along to the first Sprightly of the new year, 2022. Give me a wave, everyone, on on uh, on Zoom. Nearly forgot what it was called. Zoom. Lovely to see you all. Really nice big group today to start the year. We've got a new aerobics routine to learn, so that's a little bit later. But let's start with a warm-up. So, you know how this works. We start with a little roll of the shoulders. I put some lovely music on, and we'll start with a little... Loosen up of those shoulders. And very welcome as well to everybody who follows me on YouTube. Please subscribe to the channel and please like, click click the like button on the video. I don't know if there is a like button, but (laughs) that seems to be what we should say. Right, let's roll the shoulders back. Very good. Let's do one arm circles, one arm circles, looping round. And figure of eight, let's do a figure of eight on that side, looping round. And let's go for the other side, starting with circles. And looping round in a figure of eight. Fantastic. Into our first twizzle of the year. Let's just twist. Let those arms just flop round to the sides. Very good. Turn your head, look over your shoulder. Get a little bit of movement through that neck. Fantastic side bends. All reaching down, all the way down, as far as you can go. Getting lots of movement through the back. Excellent. Oh. And what should we do next? Let's do knee raises next. So, lifting those knees up. Nice and high. Fantastic. Think about bringing the knee up but keeping your back straight. Keeping the back upright, don't lean forwards. Fantastic. And finally on our warm up, let's do heel lifts. Lift in the heel. And come to a stop. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So far, so good. Let's just do something nice and simple next before we get into the the difficult stuff later on. We'll do, we're gonna just do a little bit of rotator cuff shoulder conditioning. So this is a nice, um, relatively easy one. We're gonna do four sections. We're gonna do outward rotation, upward rotation, forward rotation, and inward rotation. So four different rotations on the shoulder, really good for conditioning the shoulder. We've been a bit, lazy over the last couple of weeks like I have, not done much exercise, it's good to start getting movement through those joints. So we'll do 20 seconds on each, we'll put some timings up on the screen for you, 20 seconds on each, and we'll start, elbows close into the side of the body, and just rotate outwards as far as you can go without the elbows coming away. Yeah, so keep those elbows in and just stretch back. Let's get this started. Bum, bum, bum. So we'll do 20 seconds on each and we'll do two rounds. Keep it nice and basic for our first session. Back. So if you're ready, elbows should be at 90 degrees here. Hold the hands out in front and don't don't clench the fists too tightly. Just relaxed in those hands and stretch back. There we go. Oh, opening out. You'll feel a little stretch across your front of your shoulders and your chest as well as you stretch back. 
Oh, very nice. And 10 seconds rest. The second one, same start position, but we're going to lift the elbow away from the side of the body and up to shoulder height. Keeping those arms at 90 degrees, yeah. So off we go. Only 20 seconds. This one's not too bad either. Next one starts getting a little bit more challenging. There's our bell. So the next one, we start here in the cactus position. We're going to roll forwards and back up again. So just rotating round from the elbow, yeah? Off you go. Ba, ba, ba. Very good. I'm trying to make some sense of it all. Nice and simple. So you'll feel you might start feeling a little bit of work in those shoulders because you're using your shoulder muscles to hold your arms up. Okay, same applies to the next one. Same start position where we're gonna bring the elbows in together and then stretch back. Okay, so off you go. Stretch it back. Again, a little stretch into the chest on this one. There we go. Five more seconds. Very good. So we will go through those again, round two. Remember, keep this nice and slow. Don't rush it. Go as slow as you like. Get a little stretch as we uh, open out. So let's do the first one again. Very good. Three, two, one. There's our bell number two, same start position again this time. Lifting those elbows up, 90 degrees on the elbow. There we go. Three, two, one, and stop. Uh, number three is the rotate forwards. Now, if you can come even lower and bring the hands up, but don't let those elbows drop below shoulder height, yeah? We're gonna get as much rotation as we can without the elbows dropping down. Very good. Da, 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 da. I'm so scared in case I fall off my chair. I keep wondering how I get down the stairs. Three. Two, one, and rest up. And the final one, the last of the eight, into our chest stretch. There we go, chest stretch. Again, stretching right back. Take it slow, stretch it right back. Last 10 seconds. Three. Two, one, and we've finished that. Excellent. Now, now comes the exciting bit. Now comes the, the very exciting bit. Now, how many of you watched the preview video of the char char char? Hands up. Oh yeah, quite a few of you. Okay, good. You know exactly what you're doing. Um, you guys don't need to look at the next bit because we're just gonna, within about the space of about two minutes, we are going to run through the basics of the cha-cha-cha and we will be putting that into our routine, into our new routine. So, I want you to walk this through with me. Okay, we're gonna count and we're gonna count those steps through. So standing upright, start with your feet together, and we're gonna, we're gonna count one, and on one, we're gonna do a side step. So step to the side, one. Very good. We're, we're, we're quarter of the way there. Okay, now, on two, the other foot is gonna step in front, and you're gonna shift your weight onto the front foot. That's two. All shifted your weight onto the front foot, perfect. On three, 
All we do is shift the weight back onto the back foot on three. Okay, now here's the fast bit. On four, we do the cha-cha-cha, which is cha-cha-cha, which is basically step together step but it's quick, it's double speed. So it's cha-cha-cha. Okay, looking good. I can see everybody just cha cha backwards and forwards, really good. Now, the thing with the cha-cha-cha is the final cha, cha-cha-cha, is the first count of the next sequence. So we've already done the one, okay? The two on the other side, we're gonna step back, shifting the weight onto the back foot. Okay, that's two. Three, we shift the weight back onto the front foot, exactly like we did the other side, but the opposite way round. And then four is cha-cha-cha, back the other way. And we're back where we started on the one. Now, just for a moment, just want you to watch me, and I'm going to run, run through this, and then I'll give you a chance to try. So I'm going to count the steps. It's really important that we count the steps. When I do cha-cha-cha, cha-cha-cha, I'm not going to count cha-cha-cha, I'm going to count cha cha one because the final cha is the one of the next sequence so it'll all make sense when i do it so just watch me for a moment i'll just do it a couple of times through i'm going to do one two three cha cha one two three cha cha one two three cha cha one two three see how easy it is do you want to have a go so as long as you do those counts it becomes very easy. It becomes very easy, yes. Yeah? So, and we're gonna keep it slow for now. So if you're ready to have a little practice, let's have a little practice. I'm gonna count five, six, seven, eight, and then on the one, we start with that side step. So, let's give it a go. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. Cha-cha, one, two, three. Cha cha one, two, three. Cha cha one, two, three. How was that? Thumbs up if you got that perfect. Yeah, all good. So, shall we do the routine? Let's do the routine and we'll do this with music. Okay, I've got a lovely uh, Latin music track for this. Um, we'll do some other stuff as well, but the first sequence, we're gonna add in that cha-cha-cha to music. Slow for now, and then in future weeks, we'll get faster. So are we ready? We're gonna start with the feet apart. We're gonna start with a little bounce, and this is... This is the first time we do our full Nine, January routine. Eight, Let's turn this up a bit. Six, five, four, three, Two, one, bounce. There's eight more. And then we're going to shift the weight side to side. Five, six, seven, eight. So just get into the music, feel the beat of the music. So we're going to reach one arm across while we shift the weight. Eight and... Okay, eight more. And then into step touch. We'll do a regular step touch. Five, six, seven, eight step touch. I feel a cha-cha-cha coming on. So if you're ready, I'll count you in. The cha-cha-cha with the music. Here it comes. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Cha-cha, one, two, three. Again, cha-cha, one, two, three. Coming into step, touch. So on the end, the last one, you still do the cha-cha-cha, but the cha on the end is step one of the step touch. Yeah, so let's do a little swing of the arms, swing of the arms. Okay, 
I think we'll have another practice though. Shall we have another practice on the cha-cha-cha? Plenty of time to practice today. Okay, cha-cha-cha. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Cha-cha, one, two, three. Cha cha one two three. Cha cha one two three. Into step touch. Cha cha one two three. It, for me, it takes a lot of concentration. We are going to practice a couple more times. Let's reach across and reach across. Eight more, and then back into step touch. Five, six, seven, eight, step touch. Round three of the cha-cha-cha. There's four rounds. So a couple more times to get it perfect. Coming into cha-cha-cha. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, cha cha, one, two, three, cha cha, one, cha cha, cha cha, cha cha, cha cha, last time, cha cha, one, two, three, cha cha, one. Very good. We'll have one more go today, then we'll practice again on Friday. Let's have a little swing of the arms. Swing the arms. And last cha-cha-cha coming up. Last, and then we get into regular stuff. Last time, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, cha-cha. Two, three, cha-cha, one, two, cha-cha. Cha cha one two three cha cha one three cha cha one two three cha cha into step touch cha cha one. Do you know what? Looking at you guys on Zoom, it's a ten from me. It's definitely a ten from me. Coming into a march five, six, seven, eight. March it out. If you want to practice again, look at the practice video on YouTube. There's a special guest in that video, me and my mum, showing you how to do it as a partner dance, yeah? So make sure you check that out on YouTube. My mum is the special guest. So we're going to do step touch again, and then come into routine two. This is new, so pay attention. Don't worry if you get it wrong, you can always march it out. Five, six, seven, and eight. Step touch. So we're going to do the 90 degree step touch, where we step to the side and then turn on a 90 degree angle. If you haven't done this before, watch me first. Join in ready. In seven, in eight. Side, forwards, back, and back. Side, forwards, back, and back. So it's like a step touch. You just turn the corner, one more time, back into regular step touch, step touch. Now this is where it gets complicated. We're going to do the same again, but we're going to add in a double curl while we're facing to the side. Again, if you want to watch me first, that's okay. So keep going with the step touch. We step side, then we step forwards. Then we add a double curl, then we come back. Then we do it on the other side. Let's give it a go. Five, six, seven, eight. So we go side, forwards, add a double curl, then step and back. Then we go the other way. So we go side, forwards, double curl. Side, back. Let's go again. Side. Forwards, double curl. And the other side, one more time. Side, forwards, double curl. And back into step touch, step touch. 
Right, I feel my first grapevine, 2022 coming on. So let's do a grapevine right, grapevine left. Five, six, seven, eight. Grapevine. Or you can do double side step, I don't mind. If you don't want to do that little foot twist. One more time each way. We're going to add in three curls. So give me a grapevine and three curls. Three curls. Two, three. Grapevine and three curls. Grapevine and three curls. One more time. After the three curls, back into step touch. So let's add that in. It's going to be the 90 degree step touch with a double curl when you get back into the grapevine. Okay, when, by the way, when we do our first grapevine, it will be the other side because we'll have done the side change by then. Let's see how this goes. Starting with a 90 degree step touch. Five, six, seven, eight. So we go side, double curl. Into the grapevine, the three curls. Back to the middle, the three curls. Then we do the step touch, 90 degrees the other way. Double curl. Back to the middle. Grapevine to the right. Three curls. Back to the middle. Three curls and step touch out. Step touch out. Very good. It's a 10 from me. I'm going to say that every time. Coming into a march, marching on the spot. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we're going to slow down for a moment and we're just going to do a double side step one side and then a side step the other side. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Very good, nice and easy. When we get back, march it out, march it out. So this time we're going to do a side step, but on the end, we're going to add in two punches. Then we're going to do a side step the other way and add in two punches. Five, six, seven, eight. So hands in front of the chest, side step and punch. One, two, side step and punch. One, two, side step and punch. Very good. Let's keep going for practice now. We're keeping those hands in front of the chest or the chin. And then punching forwards on the end and tapping the toe. One more and then back into a march. And march it out. Now we're going to do more punches, but a little bit more energetic. We're going to do a side step and punch to the side. So side tap rather and punch to the side. Six, seven, a side tap, punch, 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 punch. Side tap and punch. Turn your head, look towards your hand. We're gonna do four more and then we're gonna punch upwards. Keep going with a side tap, punch up. Eight more, eight more, and then we march it out. Five, six, seven, march it out. Excellent, so let's add that in. We'll do the side step and the two punches, across and back, and then we'll do the side tap with a punch to the side. Here it comes, five, six, seven, eight. So two side steps, two punches, Two side steps, two punches. We're always going to do this twice, so go again. One more time. Okay, side tap and punch.
So eight more, then we punch up towards the ceiling. Five, six, seven. So keep going with a cut side tap, punch up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, eight more, then we march it out. Five, six, seven, eight. March it out. So we're going to next, when we do it again, when we come to the side punch, we're going to do single, single, double. Okay, side step in two, in one side step and punch. Side step and punch. So slight change coming up. When we do the side taps, we're going to do single, single, double. Are you ready? So side tap and punch, single, single, double. Single, single, double. Okay, single, single, double. Single, single, let's do that again, but we punch upwards. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Again, single, single, double it up. One more time, back into our side step next. Side step, two punches. Side step, two punches. Again, always twice for now. One more time, then we're into single, single, double again. Single to the side, double. Single, single, double. Again, single, single, double. One more time, single, then we do it upwards. Side tap, punch, up, single, single, double. Single, single, double. Again, single. Last one and we march it out. Double it up, march it out. Very good, nice little routine there. Now, the next one, we, we're gonna do a little reprise of something we did last year. So I want one, two, three, knee. One, two, three, knee. Five, six, seven, eight. Three steps forwards and a knee raise. One, two, three, knee. Oh, let's turn it up. When you get back, step touch, step touch. So I'm doing step behind. That's because we're changing two step behind. Let's go behind. Back into one, two, three. Nick, count you in five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. When you get back, step behind, step behind four times. One, two, three. Knee. Is this familiar? There's a reason for that. Step behind. Let's go again. One, two, three. Step behind. Again. One, two, three. Step behind. Back into step touch. Step touch. So we're going to do two kicks and a double knee. Two kicks and a double knee. Five, six, seven, eight. So two kicks, double knee. Two kicks, double knee. So get that rhythm, two kicks. Keep going for practice, two kicks. Again, kick, kick, last time, okay, to step, touch, should we add that in, <laughs> we'll do the one, two, three knee, the step behind four times, and then the kick, and the double knee, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, Step behind four times. Two kicks. 
double knee, two kicks, then we do it again, one, two, three, oh, step behind, nearly forgot the knee raise, two kicks, double knee, two kicks, double knee, let's go again, one, two, three, step behind, two kicks, double knee, and two kicks, double knee, and march it out, march it out, brilliant, we finished another routine, only one to go, final routine, we're going to do two V steps, and four John Travolta's, yeah? So it's going to be two V steps and four John Travolta's. Can't wait. Two V steps, four John Travolta's coming up. I'll count you in. Here it comes. Five, six, seven, eight V step. Two of those and John Travolta. Two V steps. Four John Travolta's. I can't get enough of this. Two V steps. John Travolta. Two V steps. We're going to keep going for practice. Four John Travolta's. Now on the V step, you can add the arms if you want to. Add the arms. We work together. We're walking down the street. John Travolta, two V steps. John Travolta, good, let's march it out, let's march it out. Next bit's complicated, let's turn the music down a little bit. One step curl, one V step, one step curl, and then four step touch. Now this is quite complicated, so maybe you want to watch me first, see how you get on. A curl, a V step, a curl, and four step touch. Keep marching, keep marching, I'll count you in. Here it comes. Five, six, seven, eight. So step curl, a V step, a step curl, and four touch. Let's do that again. A step curl, a V step, a step curl, and four touch. Again for practice, step, curl, curl, V step, curl, four touch, again, curl, V step, curl, four touch, and march it out, march it out. So let's put that all together, starting with the two V steps and the four John Travolta's. Two V steps, four John Travolta's, five, six, seven, eight. John Travolta. Let's do that again. Two V steps. John Travolta. Coming into the curl and the V step. Single curl, V step, curl, four touch. Let's do that again. Single curl, V step, and curl of four touch. Coming into two V steps. Two V steps. John Travolta. Two V steps. John Travolta. Coming into single curl. Single curl. V step. Curl, four touch. I nearly forgot what I'm doing. Single curl, V step. Single curl, four touch. March it out, march it out. Do you know what? <laughs> I think that's enough for today. We've done like four new routines and a cha cha cha. So counting out five, six, seven, eight. And we stop. Very good. So we'll do the same thing on Friday for practice, exactly the same. 
We'll do this for maybe two or three sessions, and then we're going to advance the cha-cha-cha. We're going to take more variations on the cha-cha-cha and um, see how that goes in a couple of weeks. But for now, we'll keep it the same. Keep practicing. Look at the videos on YouTube so you can practice along and try and learn the routine. And don't worry if you got it wrong. Don't worry if you got it all wrong. It doesn't matter. I had loads of goes at this, okay, before I could remember it all. So um, practice, practice, practice. We'll have a three minute break and then we'll be back for some resistance training and you will need something to lift and you will need a chair. Okay, the next section is quite simple. I'm keeping the next bit simple after all that new stuff. Oh, feel free to turn your microphones on and have a little chat with me after all that. Uh, how was that routine? Did we enjoy that? Silence. <laughs> oh, good, John. Thank you, John. Yeah, thumbs up from Ruth there. Yeah, thumbs up all round. Hello, Marianne. Nice to see you. Oh, Anne's there. I didn't see Anne earlier. Yeah, Hello, Anne. I'm a bit late, sorry. That's all right. You're excused. It's only the first week back. New yeah, term I'm starts. I'm stuck on the phone and then I realised the time. Oh, yeah. Sorry. That's all right. Right, have a drink of water if you need some. So, after our break... It's a very, very simple circuit. Yeah, just a basic circuit of one minute exercises. And we'll just do, a, we'll recap some of our weights exercises. And we'll, um, yeah, just to do some basic stuff next. How did you get on with the cha-cha-cha? Was it all perfect? Linda, thumbs up from Linda. Thumbs up, thumbs up from Teresa. Excellent, good. Thumbs up just on the side of the screen from Jill and Trisha as well. All perfect. John, how about you? Were you perfect with the cha-cha-cha? Halfway. Halfway, okay. Well, do you know what? It is only week one. When I did the preview video yesterday, I had to, I got it wrong four times and I had to kept stop recording before I got it right. <laughs> and even when I did get it right, it wasn't amazingly right. But do have a, do have a look. <laughs> have a look at the video on YouTube that says cha-cha-cha preview because there's a very special guest on that video demonstrating the partner cha 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 okay so please do have a look at that it was good yes i think it does <laughs> yes i've been doing it all christmas <laughs> i've been boring everyone to tears doing cha cha chas around the house <laughs> <laughs> But actually, the one thing I would say about it is that if you do practice it, when you get it right, it's really rewarding. You really feel, feel pleased with it. And it feels, it's really nice to get those little moves in there and um, feel how, uh, how well you're doing. It's, as I say, <coughs> excuse me, very rewarding. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I think we should move on and do our circuits, don't you? Should we do our circuit? Yeah, oh, lots of enthusiasm there. Mm, mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're going to do a basic 10 station circuit, nice and easy. So um, um, we'll just do something nice and simple now. We'll do 10 exercises. You'll need some weights. We'll start with the weights. We'll be on the chair later for some sit to stand. We're going to start the most basic one of all, bicep curls. And we'll do one minute of bicep curls. So pick up your weights. We'll put some music on and we'll start off with bicep curls. There's 10 exercises and um, yeah, we'll just keep it uh, relatively simple today. So let's move this on. We'll put the timings up on the screen for you. Getting ready, starting in 15 seconds. Uh, The good thing for me about this section is that I have to, I, I, I don't really have to think too much about the moves. The aerobics, I'm just, my brain is over, boiling over with thinking about what's coming up. <laughs> but this is, well, I can relax now. <laughs> All I have to do is bicep curls for a minute. Ah.
Very good, still another 30 seconds. So keep going. Fifteen. So it seems like ages a minute now, doesn't it? After all that fast action earlier, those fast little cha cha chas. This seems like it takes. Um, it's nice and slow, and it seems to take forever to get through a minute. Three, two, one. There we go. Fifteen seconds break. The second one we're going to do is going to be upright row, of course. You probably can all guess exactly the sequence um, of exercises, but we'll. Uh, I might uh, throw in a few. Uh, odd ones in a minute just to catch you out but let's do upright row first 30 uh, 30 seconds one minute of upright row think about getting those elbows up nice and high There we go. 25 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Three, two, one, and rest up. So let's do a, what should we do? Let's do a lateral raise. I was trying to think of something I haven't done before, but I am, we're doing lateral raise instead. <laughs> let's do lateral raise. Don't rush it. Let's go quite slowly up to shoulder height and slowly down. A minute is quite a long time for lateral raise, especially if you've got reasonably heavy weights. So, see how you get on. Remember, you can pause at any point if you need to, take a break. You don't need to do continuously for the whole minute. You might decide to do like 10 repetitions, have a break, do 10 more, and keep going for the minute, yeah? I don't mind if you stop, especially if we've all been uh, indulging over Christmas. <laughs> like I have. <laughs> uh, 15 seconds. I'm not struggling, honestly, I'm not, uh, I'm not struggling. Four, three, two, one, rest up. Exercise number four is gonna be curl and press. I like the curl and press because it's a little bit gentler, but we start bringing in that shoulder lift there, yeah? So curl and press, four, one minute, one minute. Curl and press. So make sure you control those weights, curling up, keeping the elbow to the side, then pushing straight up, back down to the shoulders, and then back down. So it's a four part move. We go one, two, three, and four. Keep those parts distinct, and nice and slow, nice and controlled. Very good. So just another few seconds on this one. We've only got one more with the weights, so then we're gonna be sitting down. Okay, so last one with the weights. What I wanna do on this one is a little knee bend and then a shoulder press. So basically, we're gonna take the weights to the shoulders, we're gonna do a little knee bend, push up on one side, knee bend, push up on the other side for one minute. So we're gonna start getting those legs working with a little knee bend in there and we're gonna push up alternate sides and nice and slow. Very good. 
don't forget, it's a bit late now to say this, so I should have said this right at the beginning. Every time you do a rep on any exercise, make sure you do a breath. So as you lift the weight, take a breath out. As you lower the weight, breathe in. Consciously make that breath with every repetition, and that'll make sure you're breathing regularly and you're getting enough oxygen through your system. Very good. Last few seconds, then we get to sit down. <laughs> okay, pop the weights down. Take a seat on the chair. We're gonna do leg extensions for one minute. Leg extensions. Oh, quick change, quick change. So we lift the knee. We extend the leg out, we bring the foot in, and then we plant the foot down on the floor. We go lift, extend, in and down, and we're going to do one minute working alternate legs. So lift, extend, and down. Lift, extend, and down. Fantastic. Another 30 seconds. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, 16 seconds. Oh. I'd forgotten how much I dislike this exercise because my legs don't really go that straight. Last one. Okay, should we do sit to stand? I think we should do sit to stand for one minute on the next one. So, sit to stand. Here we go, stand up from the chair and sit down. Stand and sit. Remember, nice and slowly, especially on the way down, lower yourself down slowly. Stick your bum out, find the chair, gently onto the chair, don't, uh, don't thump down onto that chair, go gently. Okay, working those legs. Fantastic, let's change this. Last 16 seconds again. Oh. Nice and gentle. Three, two, one. Fabulous. Now we're going to do calf raises next. So you'll be standing behind the chair. Use the chair for support. Push up onto your toes. Slowly lower yourself down. So up onto your toes, slowly down, up onto your toes, slowly down. Now if you find this easy, working those calves, what you can do is lift one foot off the floor and do five on one foot and then five on the other foot. That means you're lifting twice the weight on one foot. Try not to push down with your hands. Just use your foot and your ankle to lift your body weight up. Again, lifting as high as you can. Very good. We're gonna do pushbacks next. I do like the pushbacks. This works those gluteus maximus muscles in your bum. So keeping the legs straight, we're gonna push one leg back, then we're gonna push the other leg back. Okay, so it's is quite a small move. Your foot's not gonna go very high on this because we just wanna engage the glutes. Yeah, which just means a little pushback keeping your upper body as upright as you can. You can lean on the chair on this one. 
because the work is lifting the foot off the floor. Doesn't matter if you lean onto the chair. Very good. This is exercise nine of 10, so there's only one more after this. Oh, I'm all sweaty. <laughs> First time I break a sweat in uh, 2022. <laughs> 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. So one more, last one. Again on the chair, this time we're gonna take a little step back. We're gonna bend that front knee. Use the front leg to push yourself back up. So it's all in that front leg. We take a step back, we bend the front knee, push yourself up. Don't use the chair to lift yourself up, please. Try and use the leg. In fact, if you can do this without even touching the chair, that's amazing. But if you need the chair for balance, that's okay too. So also known as the reverse lunge, this exercise, which is a, quite a classic leg exercise. Very good. Last little bit, we're nearly there. 20 seconds to go. Ooh. Five, four, three, two, one. And there we have it. Oh, very well done. Let's put that away. Let's just take that off the screen. Very well done. We finished our circuit, first circuit of the year, first uh, um, aerobic session of the year. Really good. I'm pleased with that. I feel like I've had a good workout. Hope you have too. I think we just better do... I can't speak. Let's do some stretches. Let's do some stretches. Let's put some stretch music on. You know, whether it's 2020, 2021 or 2022, you can be sure of one thing. And that is that you've got a friend in me. Okay, so let's have a little... A little... What are we going to do? Roll of the shoulders. Da, da with Michael Bublé. You got a friend in me. And roll your shoulders back. And you've got a friend in me. When the road looks rough ahead and you're miles and miles from your nice one. And head. a little twizzle. You oh, just oh, remember oh, what your old oh, pal oh, said. Yeah, you've got a friend in me. Baby, you've got a friend in me. Fantastic. Calf stretch, as always, nothing changes. All familiar. Let's do the calf stretch. Back heel goes down to the floor. Front knee goes forwards. Feel the stretch down the back of that back leg. Let's, while we're at it, let's take the hands out in front and push forwards. Roll your shoulders forward. Stretch out those arms. Feel the stretch across your back. Darling, you've got a friend in me. Now some of Brilliant, let's do the other side. Turn around. Are bigger and stronger too. <laughs> Heel down. Bend the front knee, push the front knee forwards. We'll turn and stretch the wrists this time, pushing outwards. Stretch those wrists. And as the years go by, our friendship will never die. You're gonna see it's a destiny. Fantastic. Cause you've got friends. Hands behind your back, palms into My your lower back, squeeze your elbows towards each other. Open out your chest. Stretch across your chest. Uh. Very good. So one arm is going to stretch out and go across your body towards the other shoulder. 
Use the other hand to stretch in just above the elbow. So we stretch the shoulder across here. Get a nice stretch into your shoulder. Hold it for a few seconds. A couple of deep breaths. And as the years go by. And change sides. Our love will never die. Fabulous. You're gonna arms see down. Then we'll take those arms up again and we'll have a little sway to finish. Gentle sway side to side. You got like the branches of a tree just blowing in the breeze. Slowly and gently. You got friends in me. Okay. My you know what to do. Wriggle those fingers. Got a See those fingers wriggling. Shake out your hands. Shake out your arms. And give yourselves a massive big round of applause. Very well done. We made it. We got through our first session of the year. Very well done, everybody. Quick announcement. Um, thanks, to, uh, particularly thanks to Jean for organizing. But is it? it's Thursday. Um, hang on, hang on. Hold that there, Gene. I'm going to spotlight you if I can. Can I spotlight you? Um, spotlight. There we go. There's the date. Sprightly Coffee morning, Thursday the 20th of January. There will be more information shortly about venues and stuff, but thanks to Gene for organising that. There we go. We'll uh, take you off now. <laughs> oh, I think we're just going to see Gene for the rest of the session now because I'm not sure how to do that. <laughs> okay, so, any case, let's... Uh, Let's change my, oh. Oh, I can't, I, how do I remove the spotlight from Jean? I don't know. Any case, <laughs> thank you very much. I will, uh, we'll come and have a chat. I'll come and sort it out in a minute. We'll come and have a chat. And um, yeah, Tuesday, uh, Thursday the 20th for the coffee morning. Keep that day free, more information soon. See you Friday, see you Friday, bye. Bye, bye everybody. So, oh, I think if I go to, Gallery. Oh, I've worked out how to do it now. There we go. Hopefully. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, Jean, I put you in the spotlight there, but uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Well done, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Don't feel obliged to say yes. <laughs> if you didn't, then just, you know, keep quiet. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the other thing is, if you've got any friends or relatives who have been saying for the last two years, maybe I'll give it a try sometime, now would be a really good time to get them to come along and give it a try. Neighbours, friends, it would be good if we could get a few more people this year that haven't done it before. Obviously, when we do a new routine, it's a really good time. And, oh, there's, oh, there's Diane Chris just coming into view there. Lovely to see you both. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. Oh, no, very nice to see you in person, both of you. I'll, uh, I'll pop you an email, Di, for an update. Happy New Year. So, um, so yeah, get your friends along to come along, your neighbours. Of course, because it's optional payment system, they can try it for free. Tell them, have it a go, give it a few goes. Payment is optional still, so um, it's, it's, uh, it's completely up to you. Um, if you make a, a small voluntary payment for these classes, but uh, um, otherwise, please tell people that they're very welcome to try it for free and see how they get on. As I say, it's a re new year, new resolutions. It's a good time to try it out. So spread the news, send all, send all your friends emails, say, let's uh, come along and try it out. And uh, we will uh, we'll all uh, try and get a few more people in. Okay, for 2022. Excellent. Okay, see you. Thank you, Paul. Bye -bye. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Okay, my pleasure. See you all. Bye.